I free to go? I want my lawyer now. I want a lawyer right now. Mr. Nolan, it's for you. My name is Patrick Nolan. I'm an attorney licensed in the state of Missouri. This is Pat Talks Law. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about something that's a little bit different from the normal law that we do. Um, we're going to talk about emergency preparedness and planning for businesses. Businesses need to have plans for things. And while it's no secret that I think that the mass hysteria over a recent outbreak, and I can't say the word or YouTube will completely demonetize and hide my video. I've learned this. Um, over the recent zombie issues, um, we have to have a plan and we have established one for our office. And I'm just gonna outline what we're doing here and why. Um, and we communicated this this morning to staff and posted it on the uh, on my law firm's um, Facebook page. But at Nolan Law Firm, we care about our staff and our families. For staff members with children affected by the recent school closings, you know we're extending the following options. First, you can bring your kids to work. Um, we're converting one of our office spaces, and actually it's the one on the other side of that wall. Um, to a combination study hall playroom. I'm setting up a few computers in there, printers, so the kids can work on their homework, they can work on school assignments, they can work on one of the online education courses that we're setting up. Um, we're also gonna install some games, and maybe a TV or something, some movies. Um, kids don't have to spend all day on, on the schoolwork, they'll get more done in a small environment. Um, you know, we'll have some technological support. I mean, our, our IT person will help make sure that all that is working so that any of our staff members with kids can bring them, just bring them here instead of being in a situation where they have to stay home from work or they aren't able to come to work because they have to care for their children. They can't leave the children unattended. Um, the second part of that is we've also extended the opportunity to work from home for any employee that is capable of working from home and would prefer to do that, we're allowing them to work from home. Um, if a family falls sick or the family is quarantined, uh, if the employee is able to and wants to work from home, we are of course allowing them to do that. Uh, that's not a requirement. If you're quarantined and you have a sick family member to take care of, you know, go ahead and take care of them. Um, regardless of whether or not they choose to work from home, Every employee that stays home sick for quarantine or even self-quarantine um, is going to be paid their regular salary by our law firm. Now, I don't want them to feel like they have to come into work and I don't want them to worry about not being able to pay their mortgage. If you are sick or quarantined, stay home. You know, we're gonna be paying our, our employees their regular salary during that time. Um, you know, and then finally, we also remove the caps on our sick leave policy, the paid sick leave, um, for the duration of the outbreak. You know, for our employees, don't worry about losing pay because you're at home. You know, we're going to work together. Okay, I want you to stay home if you're sick. I want you to take care of your family if they need to be taken care of. We will get through this. Okay, and. You know, there's, that means there's going to be some changes to the law firm environment going forward in the short term. We're going to have kids and kids may well be playing loud from time to time in the law office. It may well be that I can't do this video at my desk in the future because there's kids on the other side of that wall playing and that wall is not a soundproof wall. Um, and the firm may be a little bit slower if we have half the staff at home working from home. So it's something that we're, we're asking our clients to bear with. So that's how we're addressing this. Um, and if our staff needs something, I, most of them know all they have to do is ask. Let us know that they need something and we'll do what we can to help them out. Um, I want my people happy and healthy. What 
and the reason I'm doing this video is because there are a lot of small businesses out there. Small businesses are the bulk of the businesses in the United States. And not every small business is in a position to be able to do this. Um, they, they just don't have the funds to pay people when they're not working. Um, and truth be told, we don't either. I'm probably going to not collect my paycheck uh, to make sure that our staff gets paid. And that's fine. That's that's a responsibility when your name's on the door. Um, but for the businesses that are able to take those steps and protect your people, you need to. The biggest threats that we are facing right now, I don't believe is illness related, but rather um, economic. You know, there are more people that are going to be forced into bankruptcy by this than are injured by it. And I truly hope that that we're able to work it through and, and help each other. That same thing applies to your neighbors and to the people on the street and, you know, your kids' friends in school. Well, I don't like buying into hysteria, if you have the ability to help out your neighbor, you should. Um, if you don't have the ability, don't feel bad because you don't. Um, you know, the same thing applies. Look, if you have been living paycheck to paycheck, you may not be in a position to help the next door neighbor with um, food that they they have been able to purchase either. Um, you know, we have, we're fortunate enough to have a fairly large yard. You know, we're going to be planting a garden and you know, I don't think we need it, but we're going to plant it. And, and I haven't planted a garden since I was my son's age. Um, yeah, maybe it would be good for them. Bring back the victory garden. Probably wouldn't have hurt all of the society to be a little bit more in touch with where food and things like that comes from. So if you are in a position of authority at a business... And with everything that's going on, especially you have school closings, things like that, you're going to have employees who are going to have to stay home. I'm not trying to preach or tell you how to run your business, but please consider um, suspending absentee-related terminations while this is going on. You don't want to lose a good employee to a competitor because the school closed and they have to stay home with their kids. Um, I think we all know that if you put a parent in a situation where they have to choose between their children and their employment, the employment is going to lose. So please be smart, be thoughtful, be cognizant of that. And for the love of God, businesses in Missouri and in America right now, you have the ability to show that you care about your employees and now's the time that you need to. Make sure that they are able to stay home and not coming in sick and infecting everybody else. Make sure that you take care of them and most businesses will be able to absorb some of that. A lot of businesses will not be able to absorb much of it. Um, it's going to stress It'll stress mine if that goes on too long or if um, it is used too heavily. It's going to be very stressful. But your people and your community are worth it. So please take the time to establish some kind of a policy or plan on how you're going to manage your people, your greatest assets during this period. You do not want an employee violating a self-quarantine or quarantine because if they don't come to work, they can't pay their mortgage or their rent. Uh, you want to make sure that that concern is lifted from them. So that's all I have to say today. It's a little bit different from normal law. This is more of a planning video. Um, please hit like, subscribe, share it, share it widely. Hopefully other business owners and people responsible, managers for businesses, will take some of the same approaches that we have. Um, 
it truly is the best thing for your business in the long term to take care of your people thank you